welcome to Here Tutoring. In this video, we're going to go through numbers 11 through 15 of the 2013 to 2014 preparing for the ACT practice test. You can find the link to this practice test below this video. This video will include answers and explanations, as well as the best and quickest way to do each question. Make sure you have the practice test and the questions in front of you, since we can't display them for copyright reasons. Question number 11. The concept this question tests is sum of the angles in a triangle. Well, the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180, and we're told that two of the angles add up to 47 degrees. So to find the third angle, we simply do 180 minus 47, which gives us 133 degrees. So D is the correct answer. Question number 12. The concept this question tests is combinations. The first thing I would do is draw a line for how many slots we need to fill, which in this case is four. Next, I would write how many options we have for each slot. For the first slot, sandwiches, we have three options. For the second slot, soups, we have three options. For the third slot, salads, we have four options. And for the fourth slot, drinks, we have two options. Finally, we multiply all of these numbers together, three times three times four times two equals 72. So K is the correct answer. Question number 13. The concept of this question test is setting up and solving an algebraic equation. But we're not going to do that since there's an easier way to do this question. Just start plugging in the answer choices. For choice A, we get 18 plus 19 times 3 equals 75. Nope. For choice B, we get 19 plus 20 times 3 equals 79. Bingo. And we're done. If we wanted to set up an algebraic equation, we would have done x plus x plus 1 times 3 equals 79. We simplify this to get x plus 3x plus 3 equals 79. Combine x and 3x to get 4x plus 3 equals 79. Subtract 3 from both sides to get 4x equals 76. Divide by 4 on both sides to get x equals 19. So the first integer is 19 and the second integer is x plus 1 or 20. As you can see, this took longer, was more complicated, and was unnecessary. Question number 14. The concept of this question test is functions and squaring negative numbers. To do this question, we simply plug negative 3 into the function. But we need to be very careful about the negative numbers here. Negative 3 squared equals positive 9, and negative 8 times 9 equals negative 72. So the answer is F. Question number 15. The concept of this question test is exponents. To do this question, we simply find two consecutive integers for x that make 3 to the x fall below and above 54. When we do this, we find that 3 to the third power equals 27, and 3 to the fourth power equals 81. So 54 must fall between 3 to the third power and 3 to the fourth power. So the answer is C, between 3 and 4. In the next video, we'll go over the answers for questions number 16 through 20. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.